Hello everyone, welcome to Disley Sisters Knitting Podcast. I'm Linda. I'm June. And we're here today to share with you five of our whips. Now you all know me, I've got more than five, I've got 14. 20 million. 14 at the moment and you've got? Five and one in the carriage haven't I? Yeah, one and you've parked one. I've parked one, yeah. So yeah, so um, anyway, so we thought today we would share with you our works in progress that we've got and um, I've got a couple of acquisitions that I've got that I'm sharing with June and that and then um, yeah, so it's a real miserable day here. Isn't it? Yep. It's absolutely awful. It's not great. It's stopped. It's not stopped raining all day. No. So, do you want to make a start first for a change? Oh, no, you can go first. Oh, I can go first. Now, our last. They always say age before beauty. So go on. <laughs> You know. Our last whip we're going to share is one one that we're both doing, and um, you know which one that one is, isn't it? Yeah, that one. Yeah, that one, that one, that one there. So, yeah, so I will start this and I will start with something that I started back in July, I think. No, this one I started in June. And it is the uh, pebbled crochet sweater from Expression Fibre Arts. And I don't think I've shown this for quite a long time. And I'm using um, Drops Baby Merino, uh, which is 100% wool. It's a sport weight. And I'm doing it in, this is a grey and this is kind of like a burgundy. So this is number 34 and the grey is number 19. And I've got the other stickers stuck to it, the other label stuck to it. And it's in my very, uh, yeah, this is my large... No, it's not. This is my medium Sheila bag. And, um, yeah. So, and I have actually... <laughs> I'm using a 4.5 millimeter hook. And I've finished the body. And I've started working the sleeve now. And um, I was looking at the sleeve. And the sleeve is actually three quarters. So, I've, I've tried it on. It fits... I had to do, I tried it on last week, didn't yeah, I? And it, was a bit too short. it was a bit too short, so I did another two inches. Two inches, and now it's fits, the length fits perfectly. And I've just actually started on the sleeve. It's a really easy pattern, um, and um, I, I quite like it. I, 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 it looks really nice. So I'm quite happy with this, and it feels so soft. Feel how squishy that is. Ooh. It's quite uh, quite dense and um, it's like a front post, front post and a and then a double crochet and you up and you do it opposites to create the pebbled effect. But I'm really really pleased with how this has turned out. So yeah, so <laughs> this might be finished before Christmas. You never know. No guarantee, but hey ho. It's just one of those projects that I've been picking up and putting down because other things have other things have been going on like sample knitting and, and things like that. So that's my first whip. What's your first whip? Mine is another Sophie scarf. I'm making another Sophie scarf. That's lovely that. As a present. Part mm -hmm. of a stock and fillet. Mm -hmm. And it's got like brown and different colours, shades of brown in it. I it's think. like mild, isn't it? It's yeah, like yeah. two colours mild yeah. together and then there's a, a, yeah. a, a, a like a cream in there yeah. as well, isn't there? And this is style class colour twist, double knitting. In coconut it's called. Yeah. So I'm making that. Mm -hmm. Which is we all know what the scope Sophie scarf, yeah. don't we? It's yeah. uh, they're lovely. It's a very that popular pop. scarf. Is it petite knits? Yeah. yeah, petite knits. Yeah. So this is my second one. 
Yes, I quite like this. I thought it'd be lovely for a certain yeah. person for Christmas. Yeah, it's lovely. Yeah. It's knitting up really nice, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, I like them colours. Night, really not autumnal. Yeah. Autumnal. Yeah. And look at her flip flops. <laughs> flip flops. Yeah. Yes. Tor. Thank you. Go on, you can go next. Okay, my second one is in my Taunton Tote. And um, it is Autumn Alpine by the wonderful Caitlin Hunter. I'll just see if I can find a picture. There we go. There's the picture. There it is. A colourwork sweater. I've done, I've just literally finished the colourwork. Yes. It's taken me a long time, but I've been doing other things for other people and, and, and that. So at last, I've split for the sleeves and um, yeah, so there is, I'm absolutely over the moon. I cannot believe how, how lovely this has worked up. And this is Debbie Bliss yarn, which I got from uh, Love Crafts. It's a, a sport weight and um, the cuff on the sleeves and the cuff on the waistband is exactly like the neckline so i think it'll look really yeah. nice it's so soft it is debbie bliss's baby cash merino and this is navy it's a uh, 55 percent wool 33 acrylic 12 percent um cashmere uh, it's 50 grams but it's so soft and I've teamed it with the lilac because lilac's my favourite colour. So that's navy and that lilac. And I think they look really nice together. I'm just so pleased. It's taken me a while, but... Um, and what I do when I do colour work, I always go up a needle size because I am... I am a, a, um, I'm not a very tight knitter, but my tension is always tight so I, um for so for color work i always go up an extra extra size needle um and then once i've started the body i go back to the original size needle but i'm just loving that what do you think june beautiful beautiful yeah i'm absolutely over the moon i think this is going to look really nice mm -hmm. so i can't wait to get it finished now i've got three i think i've got four sweaters now that i've done <laughs> that are at this stage and I just need to get my finger out and get them finished now because that's what I wanted I wanted um, knitwear didn't I for I wanted to concentrate on knitwear this year for wearables. The wearables that's it wearables so yeah so yeah so that's autumn alpine really nice pattern love Caitlin Hunter and as you can see it is what she's done on the rib here is on the sleeves and on the um, get the glare, can't you? Get the glare on that so you can see it properly now. See, it's the same. So I'm looking forward to that. So my next whip is the Granny Square holiday bag that I got from Botchy Balls. It's a ship use one, isn't it? Or is it not? No, oh, no black no. sheep balls. So I didn't like the pattern on the, as you can see, on the on granny the, squares. On the granny square. So, she so did I went own. onto YouTube and I've done my own. So yeah, so I'm making that. So I've made all my squares now. I've just got to, they've been blocked. Just got to uh, join them up. And I'm using Sadar Stories Double Knit. Um, in City Break, All Nighter, um, Surf, Surf, Surf. Um, you've got Surf, haven't you? Reunion, and I don't know for the life of me know what that colour is because um. I haven't got the label, it's in my purse because I, I guess I needed one. Yeah, it's in the other room, isn't it? Yeah. So yeah, so they're the colours that she's using, and you you put them all together. It's going to be the grey. Is going to be the main. But where they've done, I'm gonna I'm gonna make it meal. 
I'm going to do something different when I join it up. Linda's going to show me how to join it up first. And then I'll fly then. Yeah. But I'm not going to do the long strap. I'm going to get... When we were at the retreat, one of the ladies had got rope, hadn't she? Yeah. And she'd crocheted around the rope and made proper handles. So I think that's what I'm going to do. It quite... It looked lovely the way yeah. she'd made it, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, did. And she'd done it in all... Um, Is it Rosa? Yeah, Rosa. Yeah. Um, Rosa had done it in... Um, or very, what are they called? Autumnal. No, no, it was like very, like baby pink, baby white. Oh, pastels. And pastels, yeah, that's pastels. it. Yeah, pastels. Yeah, so. I really like them. So, our, as you can, as you know, our June's a blue girl, so yeah. Well, yeah, because I've, you know, I've got enough to make, I'm going to make a brown one as well. Autumnal one. I oh, yeah, so there's all my, all my squares all ready to go. All ready to go. So Linda's going to show me while I'm here. Before we start Stephen West tomorrow, Clue mm -hmm. Three. I'm a week ahead. Yeah, it's week three this week. Mm -hmm. We've only got one more week after this week. Wow. Oh, no. Well, I'd I'd done I'd done and dusted by Saturday night on my Clue Two, hadn't I? Yeah, and I finished mine on Sunday. Yeah, yeah. But we've we've done something different with ours definitely. yeah quite a lot of people have done the same as well but yeah yeah I know when, in, in, um, when I've been in the um, West Kitten Knitters kitten uh, that knitters, group yeah, yeah um, quite a few have changed haven't yeah they? and quite a few of them are doing more than two colours mm. yeah so yeah. it's nice how you can you interpret a pattern to your way of thinking mm. And and that's what I like about his patterns because yeah. you can, you can you know um, even though it's a mystery knit along you can still put your own stamp on it. Put your own stamp on yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. That's a mad dizzy bag. Sorry, and the other one was in me in me little baby Sheila bag. Me little baby Sheila bag. That's got me say uh, me safe. It's got me Sophie's scarf. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I don't know where safe came from. Right, when did we go to, um, oh right, was it August or September? Anyway, at Black when? Sheep Wools, Rowan was having um, their um, new, yeah. a launch of their new yarn. August. Yeah, so that's it, August. So, I bought this book, and there are lots of patterns in here I want to do, but the one that I am doing... Let's see if I can get a better picture. Let's see if I can find a better picture. I'm sure. It's at the front, isn't it? Yeah. There we go. So this, I am doing this. It's called the Hem Vest Top. And um, it's kind of, as, it, as the book is so softly tailored, the vest is actually tailored to and you just hold that for me so i can show so as you can see you've got marks here and it take you you kind of bring it in and then you bring it out so it kind of shapes to your body can you see yeah yeah and i'm using so i treated myself to this yarn it is quite expensive but um it's our pure alpaca um, and obviously Rowan. You can't go wrong with Rowan. And I really like the grey. And I thought, I want something that I can wear with any of my dresses, any of my blouses. And, you know, my T-shirt could go over a T-shirt, you know, long sleeve T-shirt in the winter just to add extra warmth to your, you know, to your body. And um, so I bought five of these and it is pure pack uh, pure alpaca 50 grams and it's a hundred percent alpaca let me see if there's anything else i can find um oh there's a hundred meters 109 yards and three and three and three quarter uh, millimeter needles a nine uk five us and that so yeah so um there's no obviously there's no name for this it's just gray i think it's uh, there isn't a name for it 
but it is a lovely like um what would you say like a stone gray yeah so i'm really pleased so i finished the back and i'm now on the front so yeah so really lovely to knit with absolutely lovely and well worth well worth the extra expense and this is my design bag is it redesign redesign number 13 and 13 is actually one from my look one of my lucky numbers so i had to have it so yeah so that is my whip number three Let's see if i can find it now to put it in anyway never mind so yeah and that is something that you can sit doing while watching watching strictly come dancing <laughs> or dancing with the stars as it is in the us like my third one is uh well i nearly said who it was i know yeah um it's a the threat gonna be a, a blanket for a present so i'm doing it in suzette stitch so all different shades of pinks and it's style craft i've got it written down somewhere what the colors are and it's style craft special dk yes yep that's yes. raspberry isn't it mm -hmm. yep 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 you use this as and the yeah, and, i've used suzette and it's it. gray but it looks like um it's almost got a green yeah someone thought it was green when i was making it in yeah. the in the knit and that's it didn't he i said yeah. no it's gray it's gray yeah so yeah so it's a um, premium acrylic 295 meters 322 yards and i'm using our uh, my clover isn't Four, it 4.5 yeah 4.5 yeah millimeter needle yeah and i've got to have that done by the end of november Mm -hmm. So once I've finished some of my stuff, I'm just going to get stuck in. Yeah. And that's the grey. Yeah. Excellent. It's called warm grey. Yeah, so no pressure. No, just no got to have it all done for Christmas. Now, my fourth one is a new whip. Because um, we both did Andrea Mowry's shift mm -hmm. using the zubber balls. And so... What's it called? I can't remember. Supper balls. <laughs> Whatever. You know them. What are they called? <laughs> I can't remember. The soupy balls. What are they called, for goodness sake? They're called. Here's one I had earlier. They're called Chappelle. Oh, yeah, Chappelle. Chappelle. Edition 3. Chappelle Edition 3. <laughs> we made the. the... <laughs> we made so, the... Where does that come from? I was going to say something, but I won't. <laughs> no idea. Anyway, so I'm like, I get emails off Andrew. I've done a mailing list, and she sent me an email with this new cowl called Day and Night. And I looked at it and I thought, oh, it's called Night and Day, Linda. Oh, well, Night and Day, Day and Night, whatever. And look at it, isn't it fabulous? So June and I, in our little you know travels and whatever we actually went into the range and we went upstairs we were looking for something in particular but we we could didn't find it in the end did we or did we or we did we just go and have a mooch oh yeah to look for something didn't we yeah and for life me i can't think what you're looking for yeah. but anyway i digress we found yarn and um i knew that the range had yarn but I didn't realise how flipping soft and lovely it is. And it's only one ninety nine. Yeah. Yeah, one ninety nine, a hundred grams. So this is the black. And I've picked now I'm not a pink girl, but this candy pink really Yeah. Sung to me guys, sung to me. Yeah. So and this is a hundred percent acrylic um really nice there's 242 meters and it's strong holds its shape and soft and it's great for beginners and experienced knitters well we could be 
who could cast ourselves as the experience, couldn't we, really? Could we, do you think so? Yeah. So this is it. Oh, absolutely fabulous. When she showed me it last night, I said, oh, it's a bit like the, uh, the um, bubble. And she went, look closely, it's not. I look closely then and I went, oh, you know, it's not. But it's lovely, look at that. It is beautiful, lovely. So, and it's um, an eight row pattern repeat. And uh, so four rows for each colour. But it is beautiful. It's going to look amazing. And it is on the same line as the shift cowl. And uh, really, really liking it. Love it. Absolutely love it. It's, once you get into the pattern, once you get into a rhythm, that's it. You don't need to look at the pattern. Except for, you know, when you've got a change or whatever. When you've got it increase. Or you go to different sections. So once you've got started one section and you know how many you've got, and then you just fly through that section, then you go on to the next section. But I'm still on section... This was section one, so I'm still on section two. So, yeah, really nice. Really nice. I can't wait for it to be finished to see what it looks like finished and blocked. So, yeah, and this is in my very first Disney bag from our June. Right. Now, we have, oh, June's fourth one. Woo! You forgot that then, didn't you? Yeah, I did, yeah, sorry. Naughty girl, naughty, naughty girl. <laughs> naughty girl. Right. I've done the ribbon on this twice now and it's getting taken down again. Listen, yeah. I'm not happy with it. Right, I am making the Stephen West bubble and as you know I don't like long sleeves so I thought I'll make this one three quarter but you don't like it. So this is I've done the body. Body's all finished. There you go. The body's all finished. It's lovely and soft. And that's the sleeve and I don't like it. So it's getting unpicked. I'm going to go to short. So that's my jumper. Which I can't wait to finish and wear. Beautiful. And I've used this colour here. Is henna. And it's saved our stories and it's uh, it's 50 50 no 40 it's 60 isn't it 60% cotton and 40% acrylic and it is 140 millimeters Sorry, I've been up since four o'clock this morning. I've been to work. Uh, 140 meters and 153 yards. So when I first started this, I was using something else last night. I I was doing three different colors. Yeah, yeah. And I did the three different, and I didn't like it, so I got frogged. So I'm using that. And then, if you all remember when we went to Turkey, I bought myself the Cotton Club Elise Cotton Gold, which was meant to be the Brian Brian Nate, Nate, yeah. Brian Nate jumper. Walked past a uh, blood orange in a uh, display black in black sheep walls and saw the blood orange and it just shouted to me. So I ended up making it in the blood orange and not this. And then when I I moved everything, was moving everything and saw today. Thought, oh, what's that in the back of the cupboard? Oh God, that was me, uh, me Brian a jumper. <laughs> so I thought I'll use that for this. So that's my. I, I can't understand that because it's yeah okay. Yeah, Linda will read it too. It's a hundred grams, uh, three hundred and thirty meters, three hundred and sixty-one yards, and it's cotton gold, yeah. and it's fifty-five percent cotton and forty-five acrylic. So, so it's, it's more or less far, yeah, yeah, more or less the same yeah. percentage. So I want this finished because I want to concentrate. So that that's me me jumper, and it's just. Looks nice. Yeah, I tried it on last night and just like one arm, you know what you do, just one arm, and I thought, no, I don't like that. No, and I, I, I don't want to make it 
and then it'd be stuck in the wardrobe. Yeah. I yeah. want to make it and wear it and yeah. enjoy it. Mm -hmm. So it's going short. Well, it's not. It's going to there. So I've just got to take it down. But I'm going to do this other sleeve next first. And then, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Very proud of myself. Yeah. And so you should be. And so you should be. Yes. I've got a ball. A roving ball. Just give me a minute. I okay. Put me rubbish all the way. Well, it's not my work. It's my work of art. Your work of art. It's my work of art. Mm-hmm. 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 It's the first time I've ever done colour, isn't it? Mixed. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it is actually. Sorry, just give me a minute. <laughs> oh. well, that's in my butterfly dizzy bag. Yes. Right, I'm ready. Right. So, you know we're taking part in Stephen West's Mystery Knit Along for this year. Um, what makes it even more special is that Stephen helped us with our yarn choices and mm -hmm. um, and that. So um, we have kept up to date. In fact, June finished on the Saturday, Clue 2 and I finished Clue 2 on the Sunday. Um, we've just been having a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. And um, when the clues drop on a Thursday, June is here, which makes it even... So we sit here together, watch the video and then do the yeah. clues, make a start yeah. on the clues. So, um, yeah. Um, we had a, a quick look at the, the patterns, did me, and yeah. saw that you could either do the brioche or the eyelets, yeah. didn't you? Yeah. And then we went house and then we were sitting there and Rick asked how we were getting on. I said, oh, I'm going to mix mine up. Yeah. So I said what I was going to do and it went, I was going to say, how should we do that? Yeah, yeah. So we've mixed up. Great minds think alike. Yeah. Though, uh, you know, when you say, uh, June's done something, and I said, oh, look what I've done. And, and then she shows me and said, look what I've done. And we've done the same thing, yeah, haven't we? Yeah. So. Uh, yeah. Like, is it Sunday? Mm -hmm. Sunday I came, didn't I? Yeah. I went, how are you getting on? And she went, I'm all, doing okay, you know, I've got this. She looked at me, she went, you've finished, haven't you? And I went, yeah. Yeah, I watched, I think I watched three films, <laughs> three, three films, and just got stuck into it and didn't realise, looked at the clock, and I think it was quarter past one, <laughs> quarter past one, I thought, oh my God, I better go to bed, I need to be up early in the morning, oh God, <laughs> yeah, but I'd finished. So well, we've really enjoyed it, haven't yeah, we? Yeah. And I think what makes it special is that we're sitting sitting, and we're knitting it together because when the clue comes down on the Thursday, we're actually sat together here. June spends Thursday with me and we yeah. just, we just last Thursday, we just spent the whole day just working on clue mm. two. Yeah. We really enjoyed yeah, it, didn't yeah, we? It was, yeah. Um, yeah, it was good. Yeah. And especially two colour brioche. I've, I've done brioche before and... Obviously, we've both done brioche before, but the two colours, it was nice to see the two colours because for the second colour on brioche, I used my, we both used our uh, mohair deer. Yeah. And then we did the bubbles and then we did the eyelids and then um, you should have used the mohair with the contrast because my contrast is so dark, I tried it and I didn't like it, so I frogged it, but I still used my mohair and I used it on the main colour and um, it's not as prominent, but you can still see see it there because it's garter stitch, isn't it? Yeah. Anyway, and then Linda said to me, oh, I didn't put my mohair in the, um, with the contrast to put it with the main colour, I said I've done that as well. <laughs> So we both we both done because I didn't I don't want to I love the grey yeah with all the the greens and the golds yeah. and I didn't want to add yeah. the colour to it. Whereas my 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 contrast colour is quite um a dark. solid dark mm. and the little bit of tones in it. So when I put that together with it, I wasn't quite happy. If I'd have doubled that, then maybe yeah. Mm. So. I pl next time you know obviously I'm going to use that again within the the show but it all depends and we were talking after clue one and we didn't we did the bobbles and obviously we've both done the Brian eight haven't we mm -hmm. well I'm and mine's not finished yet and um, we were looked at one another after clue one and I said what do you think and she said he's going to do Brian eight next um, brioche brioche and bubbles 
so we got that right actually because <laughs> yeah. when it come up we went yes and then yeah. he did for you know for people who aren't as experienced with the bryonate or you know can't, the brioche yeah they are the brioche sorry they've got he i liked it that he gave the option yeah for you to do the um the eyelets the eyelets yeah. which is great yeah. I mean the bri the brioche is is fab, but I just thought just to mix it up. Yeah. Just to mix it up. Yeah. And I think if we do the bri when we do the brioche, if you do the brioche again, I'll I'd do it the opposite way. Yeah. Do you get what I mean? So I'd put that to be at the front. Yeah. Right. Or what I would do is I would if it's that I would have the two. Don't you think you can see? yeah you can see it so yeah. we're gonna show you so a spoiler alert if you don't want to see you go first so i um you can see you hold it like that and i hold this like this so this is mine and there's 409 stitches guys so it's going to be a long one so it takes takes about 45 minutes half out not 45 minutes it takes about what 20 25 minutes to do a row yeah but i did i'm not sure if you can see it but, but i've done my so we've got the bubble the brioche bubble eyelet bubble so and if you turn it around mm -hmm. and show that there's there we are there's your haze there's me that's me um go here yeah Is it mohair yeah, bow? Mohair. yeah and it looks really nice and neat on the back as well doesn't it <laughs> which is just as well because sometimes when you've got a shawl on you do actually see the back of it mm -hmm. so really liking that and the, i've got to say the yarn is just so soft yeah and Squishy. just yeah we've got we got enough yarn to make a jumper which we're not going to say what we're making are we no no um but we've got we've also got yarn to make yeah to make a, yeah to make a jumper pick, yeah uh, yarn quantity helped us yeah. with the colors yeah and, we picked the main colour and then he helped us then put the colours together to yeah. make yeah. the sweater that we want yeah. to make. Yeah. So, yeah. Yep. So. So this is mine. I've used, um, my main is a ne a Neon Melon by Punk Rock Unicorn. And then the my second is, um, that is called, oh, it's in my book. This one is Dark Omen and called Grim, and this is by can I just buy that? Yeah, yeah. A glow hair West Wall glow hair. So this is um, Stevens, and I've had in the past, and you will back me up. I've had a lot of trouble with mohair. I've yeah. never been able to use it because my hands swell, and and uh, but this it's been a joy to work with it's like knitting on with a cloud that's all i can say isn't it june mm -hmm. absolutely beautiful so yeah and mine is fandango oh yeah this is fandango and and this is called grim and this is my so there we go so really really happy i excited for tomorrow um yeah so I think that the next is going to come from his dustland. Yeah. He's going to choose something from his dustland. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. And that's on my, on my list to do as well. Yeah. Yeah. Next year, not this yeah. year. I've got enough yeah. to be doing this year. So this is mine. Yarn is just so soft. So that's mine. There you go. There you go. And you've got, you've got, got, have you got punk rock unicorn in Kelly? Yeah, Kelly Green. Yeah. Is the main. No, no. Oh, no, Mossy Rock. Oh, Mossy Rock is your contrast, is your grey. Yeah, Mossy Rock is me, is me punk rock unicorn. Which is this, this colour, the contrast colour. Yeah, grey. And the green is. And the green is Mimin, Mimin, Mominocchi yarn in Kerry which is the green yeah the green is that one and then you just see the uh, and the uh, June's uh, mohair is called uh, Dijon like the mustard yeah so it looks really nice 
So they're my, they're mine. They're my colours. Beautiful. Yeah, but I chose that first. Yeah. I didn't choose the green, or did I choose the green first? Yeah, I think you chose the green first, because you like, green's your colour really, isn't it? No, no, it was that I chose first, wasn't it? Do you know what? I can't remember. No, it was that. I chose, mine was I the... chose that first. That's right, you did. I chose that first because it had all different shades of grey and and then the greens and then you could see the golds and then yeah. a bit of orange in it, isn't it, now and again. And then he said, right, and then he, he chose like, quite a few colours, didn't yeah. he? And we went with that and then quite a few, but I liked that because I think you can see the gold through it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'm, I am happy with my choice. Yeah. I am. Yeah. It's lovely. And it is so, so soft. I would highly recommend anybody to, to like, just... Order. Just order. Just treat yourself. Treat yourself. You know, birthday money, Christmas is coming up. I know it's a horrible way. <laughs> it's too soon. But Christmas is coming up and, and, um, and that. Yeah. You know. I'm just glad that, like, I mean, obviously we saved up for it, didn't oh, God, we? Yeah. It um, took us about 12 months. Yeah. We, we saved up, no, January, February. No, well, nine months. Yeah, yeah. so we, we saved up because we knew. Mm -hmm. And then we knew that we were going to get a jumper's worth as well, weren't we? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, yeah. I've never felt yarn like it before in my life. It's absolutely beautiful. Mm -hmm. It is. And that's the backside of my brioche. See the Dijon, mm -hmm. the gold. So you can see beautiful. both how different... We are. I saw, I think I saw yeah. on one of the ladies. And this year, this burgundy seems to be quite a popular colour. Yeah. I mean, I love, my first choice was the neon. I was just stood there and it just, it was just like waving to me saying, hi, I'm your colour. And I just picked it up and I fell in love. And then he was just, he was just Right, okay, we'll do this, 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 and it, no, that's not right, that's not right. What yeah. do you think of this and that, and that? And I thought, oh, yeah, I'm just loving mine. But I noticed on the uh, on his page, I noticed somebody had so done the brioche that, that way, and then her second lot of brioche, she'd alternated it, so she'd done her mohair glow as the main colour, and a contrast, a main colour as a contrast colour. Oh, it looked lovely, it looked mm -hmm. really nice. But yeah, made up, absolutely chuffed. I was even made up that I'd beat Linda this time round and I'd finished before here. I've just got to sew my ends in though today and get ready for tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Yeah. So very pleased with it, very happy. Yeah. And even more so to the fact that he's put bubbles in and that's what I'm doing at the minute, me bubble jumper, yeah. aren't I? Yeah. Because so you told him when we were there that you were doing the bubble and he just said, oh, interesting. Yeah. yeah. So kind of, you know. I did ask him was he was he gonna be introducing some more new sweaters, didn't I? Yeah. He said I'd have to wait and see. I thought he might stop. <laughs> <laughs> but no, but no, he wasn't Secret. giving anything away. So anyway, um I've had a bit of a a moochie moochie round and I found these two patterns which I must have bought a couple of years ago when I went to there was um a wool festival in Leeds at this steampunk play, a steam. It had lots of engines and, and that. And I went there first time ever to, um, you know, to a yarn. Um, and I picked these up and I found them yesterday while I was sorting my um, bookshelves out. So they might be going on the needles at some point. Might in the June. I quite like that one. Yeah, that's nice, isn't that's it? That's cables. I wouldn't be doing that one. No, you wouldn't be doing that one. I quite like that's that That's basket one. weave. That's yeah. quite nice, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Mm. So there's them. And then... Four um, ply. Um, it's four ply. That's no, okay. <laughs> um, botanical yarn. I've got... I, I, nothing really i can say more for botanical yarn um i've been a fan of sophie's yarn since i kind of um joined the yarn community and i bought this for our june which is the pumpkin spice sock set do you like it i do it's beautiful and she's got a little pumpkin 
stitch marker now me when you know i love purple i'm a, I'm a purple girl and when i saw that she um sophie had um dyed lilac purple whatever lavender she's called it i had to get this it's the halloween lavender neo neck sock set and um, i've got um i've got a little ghost and um i just think it's lovely really really nice and i got i ordered this um as well and um, i'm going to actually do my face no it's not my face i've done i did a color work sock workshop ages ago so this is, i'm going to do color work with this and i just love the nips can you see the nips in it i really like it so i am this book has got so many different designs and um, she does do the little um cards you know they do oh, what's it called they call you know the little cards that have the motifs on i can't for the life of me think i'll put a link in the description box below of what it but i've been waiting anxiously for this book to come out and they're actually um they're actually patterns look look at them socks so i believe i'm not 100 percent sure but i think this might and all the um let me just see look at the gloves fingerless gloves this uh, i know there's about uh doodle mittens look at the little foxes so um yeah the, i think there's nine patterns look at that headband so i really want to my aim is to do even more color work color work oh look at the cats mm. look at them hats aren't they gorgeous so yeah so i treated myself to this and i thought with the whole intention of i need to sit and read it go through it and that and then do some color work and then while we were in um i forgot when we were showing i got well it's for june and i really this um west knits book it was on offer in the shop and there are 13 shawls in here there's an introduction where he talks about it and a lot of the people in the book were actually at the shop where yeah, they yeah. do yeah. A te um, it goes through techniques and tips and plan your palette and it's just um really excellent look at that customize the size of your project he, he it's not just solely of patterns it's an explanation how to use color where to use color and um, look at that painting strips there are 13 13 guys 13 patterns in here and um, i'm just really excited to um look at him yeah i love that jumper i love that jumper and uh, yeah, where he gets his where he gets his ideas from is amazing isn't it you and he's yeah, just yeah. yeah and he was such so really nice wasn't he yeah it was lovely 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 so yeah so Absolutely that's lovely all what we've got to share with you all our whips at the moment our works in progress obviously um i've started sophie's tis the season um make along sweater make along that started on last thursday was it the 10th yeah yeah it was 10th so last thursday that started so i've made a start on that i've not done enough for me to show you yet but i'll show that at another in the next video and then today the shipyards um festival of lights blanket crochet along started so I need to print off the pattern and have a look what that's all about because I've got that to start as well. So that'll make whips number 17. 
<laughs> so anything? And I've just been busy making bags. Yeah. And reading cushions. And reading cushions. Story cushions. Story cushions. Very sorry. Yes. I got it wrong. Yeah. But um, that's all from us. For Aye. We'll see you all. We're still in October, aren't we? I can't believe it's nearly, well, it is, isn't it? Middle of October. Mm. So we will see you all next month. And uh, we hope you have a wonderful Enjoy Fall. Um, even though it is raining here. I don't think it's stopped, has it? It's not no. stopped no. at all today. No, and uh, we all. will see you all next time. So take care, everybody. Stay safe. But more importantly, be kind to you. And we will see you next time soon. Bye. Bye.